Hey guys, Coach Brian Klopacki here with Critical Bench. What I'm about to show you right now is some hip mobility and flexibility exercises for all the athletes out there. We're gonna start on the floor. So for here, you wanna be on your back, raise the hips up, pull that knee in. I'm gonna do about three on each side, keeping the hips up. Next one, we're gonna do the similar thing, but we're gonna cross the leg, raise the hips up three times. Trying to push this leg away from the body. Same thing on the other side. Next one, we're gonna do a 45 degree angle glute bridge. Raise the hips up three times. Same thing on the other side. Good, we're gonna flip on over to an all fours position. We're gonna go into the bird dogs, hands under the shoulders, knees under our hips. We're gonna extend one arm out, opposite leg out, fully extend, reach underneath the body, and extend back out. Same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna go to all fours here, hands and feet, bring one knee to the opposite elbow, Tucking it under the body. Now we're gonna stay in this position, but bring one leg forward. Now we're gonna drop the opposite hip down to the floor, keeping that back leg straight. All we're doing is rocking that hip down to the ground. Same thing on the other side. Good, next we'll go to a half kneel position here. Similar concept to what we just did. Now we're just gonna rock forward and then rock back. Final stretch, uh, stretch out the inner thighs here, our adductors. One leg on the floor, other leg pointed straight up. Gonna sit back, butt hits the heel. Drive forward, hips come forward in front of the body and sit back down, all while maintaining an extended outside leg. Same thing on the other side. Toes are up, sit back on that heel. Hips go forward. Good. Guys, that's some quick exercises to help loosen up and uh, completely just relax those hips, prepare them for some work. Like us, follow us. We got a free report for you on all on Olympic lifting. Check out the, the report after you do this stuff because this is gonna help that. Guys, thanks again for checking us out. Hey there, Coach Chris, head strength coach at criticalbench.com. I'm going over today a very simple, easy to do exercise that really isn't an exercise at all. It's a way to relax a very important muscle in your body. That's the psoas muscle. It's in that hip flexor group. So I'm gonna drop down here and I have Michelle already in the proper position. Her knees are bent, her feet are roughly about 16 to 18 inches apart. She's in nice alignment here. She's relaxed. She's not trying to tilt her pelvis or do anything. It's just a, a relaxed position, neutral spine. What she's going to do, she's just going to very lightly hold on to this pad with very, very little pressure, okay? Because this is something that she wants to be able to maintain and hold for several minutes at a time, okay? If you feel fatigue or feel tired in any way, you're probably just squeezing a little bit too much on there. What this is doing is actually releasing the deep muscles that are, you can't obviously see them, the, the deep muscles that attach to our lumbar, uh, lumbar spine and to uh, the top of our femur. It's a very, very interesting muscle group, the psoas major, and that muscle becomes constant, constantly under stress when we're in a seated position all day long at work, in the car, at home. So 
what we're doing is we're releasing that muscle, we're letting it stretch out, we're letting it lengthen and just relax. And what that muscle does is it's a, just a, a, a numerous amount of, of, of things for us. And so by letting that muscle just relax and, and, and let, the, let the tension out of that muscle, it's gonna do so much for us in our ability to perform in the gym. So I hope this was very helpful to you. Do this for several minutes at a time. Just find a, a spot on the floor at home, at the gym, and you'll get a lot out of this, I promise you. In order for an athlete to perform at their best, they need to perform with explosive power through their hips. In order to generate that kind of force, you should be doing Olympic lifting. So I'm gonna give you a free guide to Olympic lifting. Just click here so you can give me your email address and I can personally send you that information.